How's it going out there? Um, welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to go over um, how to send and receive emails on the Kindle Fire um, and a couple other cool features you're going to find in the email app. So what you want to do, mine's on the carousel in the front right here, but you want to go to apps right here um, on the top row. And then we want to go to where it says email. So tap on the email app. And then we have our different email accounts. I have two synced on the Kindle right now. And um, I'm going to tap on one of my email accounts right now. So first thing you'll see is um, uh, a couple of the emails are, are, are like lit up or like white. And the other ones are a little bit dark, kind of shaded. And basically the ones that are lit up are the ones that ha are new that you haven't read yet. And the ones that are darker, kind of shaded, those are the ones that have not been read yet. Okay. Uh, so... First thing we can do is if we want to read an email, let's go ahead and just tap on it and it'll open up the email for you. This is the email from Living Social. They send me emails every single day and I delete them every single day, but nonetheless. Um, so this is one of their emails. If I want to erase it, all I can do is uh, there's a trash can button right at the bottom. I'm going to tap on the trash can and it's erased. Okay. What I like is it doesn't prompt and say, are you sure? It just automatically erases it. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and hit... This is another email. So let's say we want to forward this email to somebody else. Okay. What we're going to do is at the bottom there's a little arrow. We want to tap on that arrow and then it asks you, do you want to reply, reply all or forward? Okay. So if I wanted to forward it, I can just go ahead and hit forward. And so it, it takes the email, puts it into a new email, and then um, it basically sets it up for you. So all you have to do is type in the person you want to forward it to. I'm going to forward it to another one of my email accounts, which is Unique New York. Uh, that's an Anchorman quote, by the way, but I ended up making it in my email account. At Yahoo.com. And then I go ahead and hit, see in the middle right here, it says send as blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and just hit send, and it's sent. Okay, so that's kind of how you forward an email. Open it up. Come to the bottom, there's a little arrow, click on that, and that's how you forward. Now, we're back in the inbox here, and the Kindle Fire has a cool feature where we can just tap on this little search, or this little magnifying glass at the bottom, and we can actually search through the inbox to find a specific email. And what it does, it'll search the title, it'll search the message of the email. So, I'm going to type in, um, what is it, um, blood, and that's why because, um, the American Red Cross sent me an email, and so when I type that in, it automatically pulls up the American Red Cross email. You can kind of see it right there, and it is in white. That means it has not been read yet, so I can go ahead and tap on that. And they sent me their newsletter, and they want me to make a donation. Of course, you know, i got to get down there, give some blood, save a life, you know. Um, so I don't want to delete this. I want to keep this email on my Kindle. So what I'm going to do is come to the bottom and click on this back arrow right here. See right here. And so it takes me back to my inbox. And now that email is still here. It's just not lit up in white because that means that I've read it. Okay. So let's say, you know, you sent your account and now you want to send an email to someone else. Great question. Let me show you how to do that. So you're going to come down to the bottom and there's a... There's one, two, three, four, five menus down here. The fourth option, it's a square, and it has it looks like it has a little pencil inside of it. We want to tap on that icon, and it's going to take us here. This is where we compose or send an email. And so at the top, we have our two, subject, and message. Okay? And so we can either type in someone's email, okay, and uh, do it like that, or if you've... If you chose to sync your contacts or import your contacts from that email account, um, we can go ahead and tap on this. There's a little plus sign that's to the right of the top box where it says two. If we click on that plus, it'll actually pull up all the contacts that you have that you imported over from that account. Um, so since it's pulled up, I can go ahead and just tap on Larry and there it is. It automatically inputs his email for me. And now I just have to put a subject. Yo, bro. Put a message. What's new? And then, oh, I probably need to type a little bit better. I'm sucking here. 
what's new. And then at the bottom, I have the option to send, save as a draft, attach, I can attach something to it. I'm going to go ahead and send it. And that's simple. We can send an email right from our Kindle Fire. And remember, got to be in Wi-Fi to do that, so make sure you're in Wi-Fi. A um, couple more things just to show you real quick. At the bottom right here, the third option here, there's a, there's two little arrows that point. One points down, one points up. This is your synchronized button right here. And so what this will do is it'll actually check for new emails whenever you press that button. Okay? So this is a cool way just uh, to get your channel to update and check for new emails faster for you. And then also at the top right here, if we click on... See, right now I'm in this email about his business at AOL.com. If I tap up here, it'll show my other email accounts. So I can just switch to another email just like that. I just switch to my H2 Stack Videos email. Okay? And then I'm going to go back to about his business. And then I'm going to click on at the upper right. It says newest. We can actually change the order of uh, the emails that are in there. We have some options. So we can go newest emails first, oldest. We can have it organized by subject, by sender, by flagged emails, read, unread, and attachments. Okay? So the layout is so simple and it just makes it uh, easy for you to just find what you need right away. If I click on flagged, uh, it'll put all my flagged emails first. Okay? If I click on sender, it'll organize it by sender and then, you know, so on and so forth. So play with it, customize it how you want it. But, um, this is just a little glimpse of the email application on the Kindle Fire. Hope that was helpful and hope that will help you uh, use your uh, Kindle a little bit better. Uh, subscribe to my channel, H2 Tech Videos. Follow me on Twitter, H2 Tech Videos, Tumblr, all that good stuff. And uh, have a good one.